Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at the Airbus H135 helicopter by High Performance Group. This is a freeware helicopter and of course the game does not support helicopters right now. So that's interesting all on its own and suspicious. But uh, MFSAddons.com said in a very noticeable headline, the Airbus H-135 is a triumph. This freeware helicopter for MSFS is a blast to fly. So, okay, well, that's quite an endorsement. Uh, so let's see, I have not tried it out yet. We have some liveries. As I understand it, there are a lot of liveries right now. Um, I'll go with Samu, okay? And we're gonna fly at New York, New York City. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, CG is gonna be out of limits. <laughs> we'll just keep everything as is. I'll keep things simple here. Um, so we want a good time of day and I guess a runway. They don't have helipads, I suppose. So let's go. So basically with helicopters, I feel like it should try to kill me. I'm not good at helicopters. And, I mean, I, I've tried them out in FS9, FSX, in um, DCS World, I have the Huey, and yeah, mostly I can take off, but landing is difficult. So, what I'm looking for is not that it's easy to fly. Uh, if it's easy to fly, I'm going to be too suspicious and it'll feel too arcadey. It needs to be somewhat difficult to fly to satisfy me. It should be noted that the current version of this helicopter project is 0.81 and they say on the download site, which I will link, that uh, it does not represent the level of quality they seek to achieve by the time they get to a 1.0 release. Uh, but the question is, what can they do when the sim doesn't even support helicopters? That is the question. I guess we should be flying it in Europe, but Manhattan, we want to really see how how Manhattan looks when we're going slow and hovering above things, so. Well, interesting weather. And I'm gonna let it catch up to where we are. The for freeware, the cockpit is nice. We can see the rotors up there. Let's take a look outside. Okay. I'll try and take off from in here first. Okay, so flight mode says basic. I want advanced. Just so that hopefully my controls will make sense to me. Maybe. Make sure the F-A-D-E-C button is on before takeoff. Oh, okay. Now we're in business. So... In order to take off, we have to click this flight button. All right. Oh, okay. Well, we've got the torque I expect off of takeoff. And okay, that that does make sense for it. <laughs> yeah, I've done this sort of slidey thing before. Oh god. All right, all right. Yeah, that happens. And we're off. Okay. Yeah. The constant need to control the yaw. Hey, there's the 747 that was waiting for me. Emerald. Uh oh, it disappeared. Okay, yeah. Helicopters do not let you take your hand off of the controls or anything, so. Here we go, we are at Kennedy International. I'm not going to be able to change the view very much. <laughs> Let's see. I should have gotten track IR on. I have it. I just did not decide to use it. Well, let's take a look from outside, though. Flying a helicopter from the outside is... Hmm. It's not too bad. It's probably what I would expect from a modern helicopter as opposed to, like, a Huey or something. Lots of uh, traffic, good. Gonna have to be a traffic copter at some point. Oh, we're going down. Wonder how fast we were going there. 
I don't have the flight instruments in the external view so that I can get nicer shots. So we were getting into the yellow zone. So we're just headed to that one really tall building there. I don't even know if that's supposed to be there. I have my hand off of the joystick now. So that's suspiciously possible. But I guess again the modern helicopter so. Oh is photogrammetry off? Maybe photogrammetry is off. Uh, that would explain it. I might have turned it off because it was causing problems uh, for a different flight. Okay, now with photogrammetry. Now things are looking better. Boy, it's different with photogrammetry, huh? It's choppy though. And there's a lot of refinement on those textures that need to be loaded still. Not bad though. It does seem to give the sim some time to load things. Uh, still, it's still working on the Empire State Building here. The spire is not quite right. Uh, still working on it. Okay, let's go downtown. I wonder what that building is. I don't even know what that building is. It's huge. I really hope it just keeps Manhattan in my cache. <laughs> It'd be nice if it did that. Nice bridge over there. Very shiny. Everything's very shiny. Oh, let's visit the Statue of Liberty. Ellis Island over there too. Going to one, two, four, decimal, seven, five. Do they not have buildings on Ellis Island? In the sim, I mean. I know there are buildings there. Doesn't look very much like this much going on. Okay, Statue of Liberty time. There we go. Very stern face. I'm not going to try and turn the camera. I don't have... I have to keep my hand on the stick in this case. Two random towers over there. What's that about? Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh, I need a little bit more. There we go. Are those, that's supposed to be a bridge. That's, is that the Verrazano Narrows Bridge or whatever it is? I think so. Let's see. But I don't know what's really going on there with the look of it. It looks weird. Let's see from outside. Well, there's Manhattan behind us. Oh, I'm yawing a bit. And yeah, the bridge still looks a little bit weird. Even as we get closer. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I mean, it feels like a helicopter more or less. Maybe a little bit simpler. Even on these advanced controls. This bridge looks messed up. <laughs> Maybe it spent all its time loading Manhattan and forgot about this bridge. Maybe there's a freeware fix for it or something, I don't know. Must have taken some wizardry to make the this helicopter as good as it is. And again, they're still working on it. It's not at 1.0 yet. So 
So, approaching Manhattan from the south this time. Trying to get lower and follow this highway. A little bit awkward because I'm so slow on yawing. I have to sort of counter counter it a bit and we're sort of pointed not in our direction of flight. That's alright, we're gonna be headed towards the left soon anyway. But the interesting thing is going to be landing. There's some interesting behavior of vehicles over there. <laughs> I noticed. They're falling off. They're they're all tossing themselves off the highway and really cars are the most interesting thing in Microsoft Flight Sim. Let's face it. They're just crossing the highway here and there. The behavior of cars in flight sim is intriguing. That's an interesting church. Going to one two three decimal seven jet blue eight five five. I mean, so far it's certainly fun, and definitely the way to go if you want to enjoy the look of a city. Obviously, covering long distances, this would not be the thing to do. But once you've made your big airliner flight from two cities, you and if you know that they're photogrammetry cities, you might as well pick up the helicopter and take it around while you're waiting for your next flight. I don't think I can just go down this avenue here. Gosh, if that's the Chrysler Tower, that's looking not so good. <laughs> Chrysler Building, I mean. Uh, let's go more this way. Okay. I feel like there's something weird with the lighting on the roads down below here, though. And, you know, probably more trees than there generally are. By the way, my graphics setting is high-end, not ultra. Okay, we're gonna be crossing over into the Bronx. I think that's Yankee Stadium over there, isn't it? No, oh, this might be too tight. Hovering in this is a lot easier than I've generally felt it to be in helicopters in other sims, I think. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Let me not speak too soon. Certainly going slow is a lot easier. But then, again, it might be a thing where it's a modern helicopter versus like a Huey. So, there's that too.
Okay, put her down. And I've cut all throttle. And we're here! I don't know if I would have collided with something or not. The textures could do some work. I don't think they meant for us to be this close to it. But yeah, okay, well, it's certainly usable. It's certainly fun to fly. And here we are in Yankee Stadium. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.